Yeah, my people, now they're on a lot of donations again for another strong box. I'm going to go to the party. I'm going to go to the party. I'm going to Jennifer Wan of Africa. Hey, what are you doing? I'm okay. So that guy, no more barako nene. So today, mock news is not a small box, but it's a very nice mock news. I don't know what I'm saying. You don't crazy. You put me a hand up. Because we had this to the go to. Person go read metus. <laughs> what does that mean? So a lot of things they happen now for Africa. Make I just touch them because time not this. This we won't talk about LGBTQ. You know what I mean? Now <laughs> we go straight to the reason why we are here. No time. Oh. If you no know, say you be tomboy, or you be cross dresser, or you be gay reason, <laughs> or you be lesbobo, oh yeah na. <laughs> No enter Ghana <laughs> like this. So put Bob Risky. Bob Risky, where they do oh, she badass, oh, she badass. <laughs> there is fire on the mountain. As I talk to Nano now. All those already they say they be cross dresser for Ghana. <laughs> they say they don't want to use e yet e yet day. Whether you the crossroad do, whether you be cross dresser, whether you day like me. They say they no one here, so I just the one Nigeria ahead. Say you they cross cross dresser, mm, Bob Risky, <laughs> not go Ghana for now. James Brown, oh the Duchess of London, the British, oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> someone straight up. That one as someone you you know say so you kuma sling. You be like Marie Rope. You understand? Know, you be like Moki Sugar King. So. If hungry beat you for someone, <laughs> by the time you eat KK and washi. All those sour one, <laughs> my brother, now skeleton, you take come back. Not near Ghana now for the new LBTQ. LBTQ. LBGTQ. Be <laughs> correct like that. They relay, where they do, yeah, 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 put the relay there. Where they do, they say, we don't even know the side where you did, whether you be cross dressed out, so where we go, so where we lesbian you. Oh, say that you won't do all. Maybe they say you be MC. They do you. You they, 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 they do like this. <laughs> no, hey, this my high. Let's go follow. No, near Ghana with this your play. Ghana they don't pass B. Oh yeah, na. You fi be lesbian. <laughs> oh, you they waka like this for 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 Ghana. You only waka for street. You dress like this. You they do it like this. My brother, three years in prison. Oh, they catch two men, Gabriel and Stevie. They do <laughs> two lip touch each other. Three years in prison. Not be daggery, no. The law strong goes. I just they want Nigeria down. And I know say our team they strong. You understand? And I let me just they want on a down. Not be the door hole on a finish. You just say I no know, I no know. Not try and go Ghana now because the law strong. Lesbian and I got the each other. Can I carry smile? And I got the worker like, like. Go to a rain beat or boy, can we rain beat? He the cash for Ghana. <laughs> so I just the turn so so the law not be here. So those of you never watch away, they they they, they talk am <laughs> regardless. Ghana's parliament and Ghana just passed the anti LGBTQ plus law. I'll show you pictures of people who are being attacked just after the law was passed. But before that, these are the top five things you must know about the law. And if you attack someone, it's an offense and you go to jail. And uh, those who are doing cross-dressing, in fact, let me take you into the law, um, section 10, section 10, subsection 2C says, any intentional cross-dressing to portray that the person is of a gender different from the gender assigned at birth with the intent to engage in an act prohibited under this act. So if you dress like a man, but you're a woman, and if you dress like a woman, but you are a man, with the intention of engaging another person in in all the activities that this access is wrong, you can go to jail. Okay. And also, it, the Lord says in Section Ten that any indecent act. So, for instance, two men kissing. Okay. So, any public show of a morous relationship between or uh, among persons of the same sex. Two men cannot kiss. Two women cannot kiss. If you are seen in in the open in the public displaying any form of affection you go to jail it said misdemeanor it says uh, who willfully commits grossly indecent act commits a misdemeanor and is liable to a conviction uh, for a term of imprisonment not less than six months and not more than one year so between six months and one year you go to jail if you're a man and you kiss another man in public 
you a woman and you kiss another woman in public or you show any form of intimacy the lord this interprets that to mean uh, uh, indecency okay so that's section 10 let me take you to section 6 there's something very interesting which affects both straight people and lgbt people in section 6 um subsection 3 it says for the purpose of this section sexual intercourse occurs where a person penetrates the anus or the mouth of another person with a penis of that person or another contraption so you see if you use dildos okay on another woman you are guilty here if you use a dildo on another man you are guilty here if you do blow job because that says if your penis penetrates somebody's mouth it's an offense okay and then b Section um, 63B says a person who uses an object or contraption uh, penetrates or stimulates the vagina or the anus. So even stimulating and licking somebody's vagina is stimulating the vagina. is guilty here. So you will go to jail. And that this is an offense. C says a person who uses, um, who uses a penis or another object or contraption penetrates the anus or the bodily opening of an animal so whether you want to have sex with cats with dogs with um, pigs i mean when i was a court reporter people were sleeping with pigs you go to jail it comes under this um act let me take you again to section um 12 and the section 12 says all of us who are on social media platforms tiktok facebook instagram youtube whatever if you do anything to promote to publish to distribute anything that is in line with lgbt or any other thing that is under this section and don't, don't forget that we are speaking about blue job penetrating a, another person's mouth or any part of the body is a crime here all right so if you sit on television if you sit on radio social media and you say oh licking is good it's an offense all right if you say um, blue job is good it's an offense because you are promoting it i'm not saying it this is what the law is saying section 12 says that a person who through media technological platform or account or any other means procures markets and broadcast disseminate publishes distributes or b it says uses electronic device internet film uh, or a, a device capable of storage or distribution to procure to market any material for the purposes of promoting an activity prohibited under this act which is the licking and the blue job and the lgbt sex the indecency anything that is captured here if you promote it that person is commits an offense and is liable on summary conviction to a term of imprisonment of no less than five years and not more than 10 years so you can go to jail for as much as 10 years know the law before it catches up with you subsection 2 says a person who engages in or participates in an activity that promotes or supports or sympathizes with any act so if you engage in anything that sympathizes with the lgbt sympathizes with blowjob sympathizes with licking you come under this and you commit an offense with the purpose of changing public opinion so you want to change public opinion that oh licking is okay uh, blow job is okay you commit an offense okay and you are liable on summary conviction to a term of imprisonment of no less than five years and no more than 10 years so don't be laughing at lgbt people and jubilating that hooray you will be caught under any of these you know sections under the law okay so if you offer your premises for lgbt party you go to jail offer your premises for parties where you know that people are doing licking and blow job you go to jail it's an offense you'll be convicted convicted under this even for media people says uh four this is um uh section 12 four it says that where a person is convicted under subsection one the owner of the media platform so you you are using your tiktok account sorry you're using your tiktok account or whatever to promote this so the owner of the media platform the technological account okay that is using their platform to circulate it is deemed to have committed an offense unless it is proven that the owner did not consent or connive at the commission of the offense or exercise the degree of reasonable diligence as ought to have in the circumstances to have to have been exercised to prevent the commission of an offense so if you use your social media platform to promote anything like that that's what i'm saying don't say lgbt is lgbt licking blood job all that come under this you commit an offense all right and section 13 also says comes to the social media platform says um a person who through media technological platform but i want you to take you to emphasis to the point that it talks about those who are using um um their platform to engage 
uh, in activities of promotion with the intent of evoking a child's interest, okay, or to teach a child to explore their sexuality, that you are teaching children that beyond men and women, there are other genders, you commit an offense and you are liable on conviction, um, summary conviction to a term of imprisonment of no less than six years and no more than five years. So if you promote this to children, even the number of years you will spend in jail will be more. That, that's what the law prescribes under uh, under this and then for section 12 it goes further to say section 12 for so for the purpose of section 12 uh, a media platform includes radio newspaper television owner or the legal operator of a media platform technological account where the media or technological account um, is owned by more than one person all those people like um facebook account twitter account instagram account youtube any other social media account will be liable under this act, okay? So put the Ghana president. Everything where you do, I don't get problem with them. But the last one, where we would get talk there, I will get problem with you. If you get problem with gay, it's none of my business. If you get problem with lesbian, it's not be my business. If you get problem with cross dress, I'll wear the dress like me, it's not be my business. You know where me and you want to get problems with? One in one we blow job will BJ. They say for BJ safe. BJ. Oh yeah. We're gonna see BJ yo. BJ in a process where you lost energy. You get the point now? Because okay, what we twa 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 na. You understand what I mean? What why? I know what fire. I know what bull. I know. Oh man, what we cook up? Sometimes you go say me. You just you understand? Lie down flat. Then you allow the machine gun to just so that time we don't take the you know what I'm the cap, the baseball cap. We pay the call you that the mama had a son in a they say that's I safe. <laughs> they say in a crime. So you're not supposed to do that thing. Then those of now where they leak <laughs> where the wash plate. <laughs> uh, in the oil for Ghana, people where they wash plate and known as <laughs> everywhere. Oh, oh, he's sweetie. So, but the B, you understand the BJ side, what did they happen? You get problem with, with people with the, you understand what I mean? Uh, not beside the two I just the advocate for my rest guys. We like, you understand? Uh, you see, that one saved my crime. Ghana. I don't. Ah, the passa. The passa. Anyone? No, no, no. This one, I need to go back to the this thing. Because, guy. <laughs> Man, don't play with you. Gonna... No, 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 no. So, but Brisky and the rest of people are not here. Because the team now they hot for Ghana. They they catch the main ones. <laughs> Those ones are 10 years, 12 years, 15 years. So, I don't turn. I know here say they, we don't know. Because Ghana now is the hot. The only way now to get free visa to US now <laughs> is to dress like this. So, some of the ways people are dressed like this. Now, they say, now because I want to read the news. No! I have evidence. I said, you reach U.S. embassies. Where are you from? I'm a Guinean. They say, Ghana, they say they be Ghanaian. They say they be Guineans. Now, why are you, why, where are you going? I'm running for my life. Why? I'm a cross-dresser. <laughs> so I like the way you put the cross-dresser, put the president. That cross-dresser, I have it one. But when I go pretending I'm a Guinea, I'm a forgive me visa. That means they give you, because all the U.S. people, they, they monitor you. You can't go lie. For US embassy, say because say you be gay or oh, you be lesbian, I make the one a Ghana people want, you understand? I make you the wrong. They can't give you visa. When you reach there, they go monitor you. Wait till you start here, you go end that door. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So just know where the line where you go give. So cross dresser away, they put. My brother, I pick cross dresser, go cross dresser. You know, tell they say you be gay. You know, tell they say you be lesbian. You only the wear uh, woman clothes for US. I'll call the worker like this. Ah. Oh, she bad this. <laughs> okay, then. Keep me in a room again. Eh, twig. Eh. Oh, my God, you stick. <laughs> Nigeria, Nepa. Nigeria people, they give us light. Mona, I see the way that they do things. If you be poor person for Nigeria, please. <laughs> you not get life. Try get money. Because Nigeria, eh? Not only the poor people, now every department strong, rich. Whether na uh, EFCCO, 
army, oh. police, oh, police with poor people, they know even they like them. They're ready to clean poor finish. They nepa. Nepa people cause it the way Ghana nepa they, they, they call their own ECG. Cause it the way they take the draw their light money. Because when I come say villa, I so rock the own money. Our national assembly the own money. Uh, even minister of power the own money. Police, Nigeria police the own money. When I just come bring list, come give the two weeks to pay. They the whole almost almost twenty uh, almost forty billion dollars. Cause you wait gonna do their own. Their parliament have been a parliamentarian. They do the whole life they about 23 million Ghana cities. I don't know how much it could be for a dollar. I'm going to give it to them. The ECG boss, Bhutan. Oh God, this man a man. He they tell them they can pay. Then they say, oh, we be brothers. Oh, we be brothers. Oh, hey, Charlie, the, the government, the government make rough. Oh. And then they drive big car. <laughs> the ECG guy, they look this. Oh, up there, they don't want to pay me, yeah. Papa, me, yeah. The day where they go sit down, say, they want to do this, and they say hi, does I say nee, and the house have it. The yoga carry boys cut the wires on every day for lift. All of the hook. And then they call the shop, me wo, me wo, me wo, hey, ready, hey, ready, hey, ready, just do, hey, ready, ya coupon. They go, that be smart, you know, full parliament, which is their national assembly. The Nepal people go cut their lights. You don't ever watch them. Sorry, God, they love us. Okay, so don't say some bad. It's off. We just say some bad. Okay, let's go talk. She said, I'm talk. Why not come? Why not? Why not? Why not? Ah, we are come. I'm going to go. One minute, as they call the light, it does not reach how many minutes. They pay more than 60% of the light bill. You understand? They bring the ECG bus come. Ask us if a who national assembly, I just put it like that, which is their parliament. They, they discuss the work our Ghana will take good. Why you caught the light? Just listen to what it is. Today you went to Parliament of Ghana. Why did you do that? Parliament was in session, they are debating the state of the nation address. And you be, you got your men out there to disconnect the the, 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 the arm of government, I mean the legislature. Why so? He said Parliament yes. was working. Yes. What was ECG doing? ECG was working. Okay. Next question. <laughs> but you plunged the, the whole parliament of Ghana. So elevators mm. left were not working, you know. You didn't see, you didn't see answer. You didn't see answer. They tell you, say, now they don't pay, they don't pay some now. They don't give the light. But now Nigeria never. We never own a 2,000 Naira. On a door carry ladder, where they, they, where they, they jump, enter uh, US from Mexico to US. Ladder go long. On a go come. On a, after on a cut our wire, on a carry the pole, on a go uproot the pole. On a carry transform, on a put up for back. Everything, only poor people know a strong reach for this country. The rich, they just say, make give the time, make give the time. Why would they so wicked? Nobody's above the law. Because you cannot implement law, then you they break the law. Why me ordinary person if I break the law? We not come like say ah, both police and me to call. You just see the way person they walk, see the way the guy they, they answer. You not even look their face. But yeah, the, so we we who be that person? Call like oh, no worry, no worry. We we'll we they use this country to the play. If we want make this country good, nobody's above the law. Whether a police station or not, the whole now the police station one hundred percent say me go because me and they know they me and they know they agree. Mostly that PRO, uh, first headquarters PRO, the office, ah, I'm going to go to the I go cut the office from the bedroom to the toilet everywhere. Go enter the house. I don't let her get light. If you want generator, I go cut the light. What you would they do? But when they say, oh, we'll give the time. If we want to make this country work, nobody's above the law. They're not born, you know, because say, because say you be a uh, police or you be, uh, how do they call them? 
senator, you be president, you can see me they give you some small something and you break law. No. I bet kudos to the ECG boss for Ghana. Go sit or down is okay. <laughs> this very news now to my Ghanaians, my fans, they for Ghana. The way this on a matter they go now, the thing that they come up from personal something. Be like they don't enter according to some people, they say jealousy. You don't get some jealousy. I day now some angels they come and say, Panana come on. <clears throat> Why they turn and say, This church for Africa and our business. And I say, No, we they serve God. Oh, we they do like this. Because he's a Ghana pastor now. Because of his jealousy now. He no not say they talk out of sense. Now be this. If anybody they go this man's church, my brother, you know they go church. Now business center, you they go because of jealousy of the jealous Nigeria. He talk out of point. Out of point. And if you see say something not wrong with this, what did this man talk? Then that means you see get problem. Those of you know what watch. Sometimes eh, I am very surprised about Ghanaians. How hypocrisy we are. We don't respect our own. And we don't honor our own. And we don't love our own. We celebrate foreigners than our own. But there is no foreigner that will celebrate Ghanaian. Look at how Ghanaian members and Ghanaian Christians follow Nigerian pastors and respect Nigerian men of God and even Ghanaian pastors. That's why we kill all our prophets. That's why we kill all our men of God. As if we don't have anointed men of God in this country. After every prophet in Ghana is considered as fake. Every anointed man of God. So for in our That's last week. One of the young men in Nigeria came to do prayer conference here on over 50,000 people were there praying Ghanaian uh, Ghanaian too but let me tell you, do you know, there is no Ghanaian pastor that will go to Nigeria to have that crowd not even 10% Nigerians will never that's why there is no bigger Ghanaian church in Nigeria Nigerians respect and love their own. As I'm talking to you, my brother just sent me a text message that he landed. That he landed in Ghana. He is also coming to do a crusade now. And go and see thousands of people who are gathered there. We have this anointing in this country. There are men of God that the power that we carry, the anointing that we carry in this country, they will never respect us. And there is no way other nations will respect what you have rejected. The reason why Ghana is not celebrate, celebrated in Nigeria or South Africa, no Ghanaian is making it there, is because where you are coming from, how has your people treated you? How has your people accepted you and respected and honored your ministry? That's why no Ghanaian can break through in Nigeria. You can only go and preach in their church and leave. If you start your church, they will give you three months. Every Nigerian will leave you. Every Nigerian will leave you. Nigerians are very self-centered people. Very self-centered. They like their people, but not the Ghanaians. As if we don't have anointed men of God in this country. As if we don't. Let, let a, I'm tell, every prophet in Ghana is considered as fake. Every prophet. Every anointed man of God. But go to Nigeria and go and hear stories they are talking about. Yet, we, we don't care about what they say about him. We, Ghanaians, we don't care about what they say about their man of God. Yet, we will go. But they still accept them because of that. Ghanaians have accepted them. Irrespective of whatever they are hearing. They don't care whatever anybody is saying about any man of God. They will still go. As long as it's from Nigeria, it's from God. They are closer to heaven than us. Go to Google and, and Google right now about information about men of God from Nigeria. And yet, Ghanaians will troop into their church. In the daytime, I'm talking about daytime service. When they come to Ghana, they don't do evening service. They start some of their program by 1 p.m. And crowd will gather there. They are going to pray. Because that man is the ladder to heaven. We, we are the broom. That's why we kill all our prophets. That's why we kill all our men of God. So for in our one with Daniel Freya. Let me tell you, there's no Nigerian church that can ever break through financially without a Ghanaian church supporting them. Winners Chapel, 
the huge amount of money winner chapel was taken from Ghana. Apart from their country, Nigeria, the country that was sponsoring winner chapel was Ghana. Christ Embassy. Ah, go and see Ghanaian rich men who are in Christ Embassy. No Ghanaian millionaire will enter any prophetic church. But they will go to Christ Embassy. They will go to Winner Chapel. They will go to Presbyterian Church. They will go to. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Let me tell you something. When we are talking about let us, let us let us enjoy our own churches are also part of it. If you attend SDA Church, it means you are sending money to America. If you are attending Presby Church, you have been sending money to America. If you attend Christ Embassy, you are sending money to Nigeria. You attend Winner Chapel. You are sending money to Nigeria. You go to Jeliese program. You are sponsoring a Nigerian in the detriment of your own prophet in Ghana. Let that man who does a 12 midnight prayer and a friend say, let Alpha Hour go and do program at the same place and you see how many people will attend. You will see how many, and you will see the bloggers, how they will insult the young man the next day. The next day, I think that the reason why Alpha Hour didn't do an uh, outreach program again was what happened to him after the first incident. Yes. The first time he did a program in the stadium, after the next day, come and see the insult on bloggers. But we are in Ghana here. I don't hate him. I love the man. I love the young man. Came to Ghana and pulled over 100,000 crowd and took offerings and seed to his country. And I saw even the electoral commissioner who was the one who went to receive from the airport. How many, how many, how many, how many churches in Ghana? Every prophetic church. Nigerians are sorry, my dear, sorry, this no be our woman. Music on our call, they do not play Nigeria song, but in Nigeria, still they go now. Come on, if you show now, I don't get problem with Nigeria. Show you waiting now. This is not the two, you don't do the two, you don't show you don't do the show waiting. You don't do the show. We are not your problem, we get our own, our own plenty. When South Africa first they take over uh, Africa, we don't jealous them. We watch them. We see what they do. We we'll go start to do them. Since they talk about say, if they go to Nigeria, church, if they make Nigeria, they get money because they depart the money go to Nigeria. The South Africa uh, shop right, the MTN. So if you tell them that they use on a Ghana MTN like this, my brother, now you go work for yourself. No, they won't try to make two countries fight. Put put that. Many Ghanaians they do this thing, not be all. Oh, and let me draw the reader like this. If on a see on a talent, not if they make on a they blow, not if they enter somewhere, we don't want to make two countries fight. Like in Nigeria, maybe on a problem. From music to comedy, now to pastor. Even spiritual fight safe now. We don't get spiritual battle. Hey, hey, Ghanaians, that day, wait, this is a disgrace to, to God. You understand? When we have Bokri, they scatter Africa. They do crusade. We get church for a village. Wait till they come Africa. Everywhere they fool like this. We get church there. Why we Africa don't want to love ourselves? You see why Africa don't feel grow? You see, Suma Eko was here. Now we they pay. We they see they pay. After 19 days, they will say, we don't still pass over. So that's if we will enter. Either Ghana enter Nigeria or Nigeria enter Ghana. Oh, some of them, they give us one week like this. I will call ourselves Eko was. You they say, as Nigeria get bad character, I will stand with that. No Nigeria go fit you say, no play Ghana song, or no play Ghana pastor come, or no do your own business here. They can't. We know fit, we will even rush you. But the one that they do want, the team, they don't want to make Nigeria because they say, oh, nah, they hate them. So I'm going to talk to some of all these people because this is hatred. Waiting a common spiritual team. You know, the God send a message. Why you not go tell God, say, ah, why you call, they call Nigeria pastor the pastor? When this guy ever come to Nigeria, I don't want him. Oh, let me wonder if I have people say a lot of pastors, even Nigeria pastors were jealous because of the crowd we do. Now it's time, everybody get time. Why well, don't I say me they not play Nigeria jam, do like this? Bona boy now. Nah. I want you to ask on a Bona boy. He's the richest African musician now. Nah. What did Bona boy don't do? Nobody for Africa don't do it. Even the lucky to be. They never do it. Can I please with the guy they say? 
not be Africa, I think they do the something. Tango say no be Africa. In Africa now, now so now sit or say, Ibuna boy do show, the eh, stone boy do show, the boy do show, now no go do hypocrite. You say, why Africa not the crew? Nobody they do also, but they'll push us, they surround us, because they say, oh, hey, now enemy from our forefather. Now we they do ourselves because we they jealous too much, we greedy too much. We know they won't see our, see compare our other person progress. Now they do us. And some of them are Ghanaian, so I don't show up. This is a disgrace. We don't do so. Now, nah, shush, shush. Now nah, they do one. Just tell the government, maybe not to give them this thing. Because me and shush, maybe they agree. When I know before. But the way they go to the company, they say, no, God, call on our business center. This is a disgrace. You need to apologize to us. No, we say, will they come for you? You, because my mom, not because of you now in South Ghana. Apologize. You talk out of point. No sense. Eh, eh. All the ICGC not be Ghana. ICGC not plenty for Ghana. We are sharp, not plenty for Ghana. Pentecostal church not plenty for Ghana. Waiting. Now you more work on yourself. Now people will tell know you. If you not work on yourself, people will not go know you. But now boy, when I work on the same night, they uptown. So now 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 white people they go and show everything for uptown Toronto, Canada. Toronto and Canada are the same place. So this my explanation. We go to the other news. <laughs> Africa people, all of them, they complain, especially Nigeria. They say, I die the day. Say, this is hunger season. <laughs> say, hungry, they beat us. Nothing to do. No food to eat. <laughs> My brother, they say, wait till they come, so, eh? If you pass, wait till we cry, so. You see, as white, stay good. They only they think are eh. Scientists don't come say very soon. Goat, cow, melu, a dog. Those of you that they eat dog. They say everything goes so finish say because the way you might be there, they come now. All these things where will they eat? It goes so finish. Say so now they don't go discover now. Say who they eat all these things? He said, abaka, oguru, worm, crocroach, all those things. They say they they even good for the body. He say more start to the eater now. <laughs> more use the cook or go soup, stew, everything. Those are my watch over there. They talk about here. Hi, have you ever eaten an insect? That is the question I'd like you to answer today. Think about it. Have you ever eaten an insect in your life? Maybe when you were younger, you'd play with your friends uh, and you'd catch this, these uh, grasshoppers in the grass and maybe you put it over a fire and you ate it. But now that you're an adult, you probably think insects are, are icky, not something to eat. Well, scientists say you should because insects have a high is high protein content compared to other sources of meat and therefore eating them diversifies the insect protein and they diversifies the sources of protein so why do scientists want you to eat proteins to eat insects two reasons one africa has a variety of insects that are edible and that's about 500 of them and here in kenya that's the second reason here in kenya 19 of these insects are already under investigation under research and some of these insects that kenyan communities eat include kumbe kumbe which are eaten in western kenya and crickets that are eaten in parts of the coast so what are these insects that scientists want you to eat let me show you i don't know what that is but it's one of the insects that scientists think you should eat. It looks like a beetle, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, and uh, some of it is in this container over here. And right next, these are desert locusts. You remember when Kenya had an infestation, you saw this flying in parts of the country, blinding motorists. This is one of the insects that they would like you to eat. Some communities already eat locusts and already eat grasshoppers. And even this desert locust, in fact, there was a joke told in Western Kenya why this locust never arrived in Western Kenya. Ati walifika bungoma waluya wakabeba na gunia wakakula locust ikogopa kuruditena, so never again. And right over here, these are crickets. Some communities already eat them. If you've never tried, maybe you would like to try. There are cookies that are made out of cricket flour that you could also eat. And there are also insects known as black soldier flies, which are also edible. These are all some of the insects that are on display here. I don't know what these are, but they look like some kind of worm. There are also insects that, that scientists would like you to consider eating. And those insects are known as black soldier flies. Let me show you what they look like. Do you see this? 
These are flies. These are flies. And they are very rich in, um, in protein. This is, so you start with kitchen waste to make them. You start with kitchen waste. You can see some tomatoes in this box here. And the byproduct that you get besides the, besides the insect, it's, you also get fertilizer as a byproduct that you can use in your kitchen garden. So would you eat an insect? So Africa, not be every time I say, oh, they say fly say that they eat. Now scientists they discover these things so because any smart one, I don't they look people like wish. China people where they eat frog like this, like this, like this, they hold parcels. They do kekereke. If they don't want to eat so no, 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 you hear say I cook some kind of pepper soup like this. You know, say hmm, warm go day inside do all those kitchen warm, <laughs> all those toilet warm. <laughs> okay, okay, we show. Yeah, because the very life they go say ah. Very soon I will see show mosquito. Oh God, it did not go. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people go to complain say all their problem are spiritual because of the way they take bonus for Africa. Is that spiritual religion or something? From their forefather's side, I they cause My brother and I lie. We know that spiritual get their own things, but some of the things we will pass through is physical. Especially my use hunger, they enter. This hunger we will pass through for Africa is physical because with the teeth, we know they prepare for tomorrow. So when tomorrow comes, I make us the shots. You understand now? You get where they go. Some of them get gonococcus. When I don't treat gonorrhea, treat saphinococcus. Street, uh, uh, a lot of krikpoto, krikpata, all those, lakpa lakpa, all those things there. Some of them are going to take an ass in a spirituality, and they drink anointing oil, anointing water. My brother and I lie. Because you never treat with native. Because all these medicine will they take. So. Now, you both people native. Some of them, you will never see on a period for how many years, the thing lost, like he the trophy inside a river. Some of them don't go ask me to do like this, do prayer. My brother, sometimes not the spiritual. You need better person to set your womb, to set your life. Some of them they look for the fruit of the womb. But all of a sudden, not born. Who tell you they can repair the something? Now let me refer now to this woman. One woman don't ever marry because of saying not get picking. The portion come for marry. Fair enter the other one. So they find picking now for 19 years. Until I read about this woman. Way they treat people, how to burn, how to do things. Now, now the woman just born like two to three days ago. Everything. I show you video they did the that theater. Everything. So some of you now, you have to stop on, try something. And if they tell you, say, may you they drink something to tell they build yourself, but you want to repair yourself, you don't need to drink alcohol. Because alcohol, they destroy a lot of things. Because some of you now, they give you a prescription, I don't know, to drink something, no. Imagine, many beer, you don't ball out, oh, man, you don't blow to do. Oh, I don't forget, I don't support drink. Some of you now, you don't have a problem. So if you define picking, or you get infection, or you get other fibroid, or any other sickness, one of you will measure here. If you just call them, follow the discourse. Call them, not call me, not call my invoice, Alpha. Call them. She will, she will take care of you. You understand? No. Even me, that's his way. I marry my husband. We never get picking. Now this woman help me. Now as I tell you now, I get six children. <laughs> six, now I don't carry with this girl. With this, yeah, it's my high. I bet cut a cut before person will for. If you get some more picking, eh, before you go born, some of them are gonna turn CID because small children. You they say they know they walk up before you turn like this. 
the door waka. So if you be mama or you be papa, please take care of your children. I let me read this. Innocent seven years old girl we go bish with the brother. They come begin to the others when they will build us for bish. They dig like like uh, how did they call her? grass cutter or on a rabbit. That's what they dig. Enter inside the play. And the thing collapsed. And they lost this young girl. So. And let me read this to the give mama. Because sometimes not even bitch. Inside us, we fry things. All they do is go. Children, they be like ghosts. They want to vanish. Those of never watch them. Riga de la ba. A day at the beach in Florida turns deadly. A brother and sister on vacation with their parents were digging a hole in the sand when it collapsed, burying them. The boy was rescued, but the little girl was beneath the sand and it took an excruciating 15 minutes to dig her out. She didn't make it. As Amber Cagliano reports, this story is a reminder to all parents to be especially careful at the beach. It's a frantic effort to save two children buried when a hole they were digging on the beach collapsed. There is a little girl buried under the sand and they have not gotten to her yet. Tell me exactly what happened. The father started yelling for help. Uh -huh. His child is caught in a hole in the sand. They were digging. The mom's yelling, my daughter's in there. Everybody's screaming. Other horrified kids watched as nine-year-old Maddox Mattingly was pulled out alive, but his seven-year-old sister, Sloan, trapped what beneath him, was most, killed, no suffocated by the sand. They tried um, digging her out, but the more they dug, dug the more the sand collapsed. Sloan's father, who owns a home renovation business, said she was full of love and life and always smiling. The tragedy unfolded on this stretch of beach outside Fort Lauderdale, where the family was on vacation from their home in Fort Wayne, Indiana. You can see the six foot deep hole left behind after the desperate rescue effort. Digging sand holes and tunnels at the beach is fun, but it can have tragic consequences. The New England Journal of Medicine found 52 cases over 10 years in which victims became completely submerged, leaving no evidence of the location of the victim. With spring break around the corner, there are fears of similar tragedies because not only children are at risk. In 2022, 18-year-old Levi Caverly was killed when the walls of a hole he and his sister were digging at the Jersey Shore collapsed. I spoke with Hugh Boyd, the lifeguard chief for Seaside Heights. As you can see, it's not that deep a hole, but look how easy it caves in. Wow, so easy, in, in a split second. In a split second, your feet are covered. Now picture yourself 10 feet deep and it caves in and it crushes your chest. In the wake of this latest tragedy, safety experts say you should never dig a hole in the sand deeper than your knees. So please, if you be mama or you be papa, you must let see how you walk. Because all these children from the creeping, courage, three years, four years, nine years, I mean, they, they do this way. You feel, before you turn, you understand now? So even if you know if you look them, carry us get like this, always they monitor children, because children they be like, they be like ghosts. It may vanish. Now we they lost this young girl now. So, so I just they read this all again, mama. Could not be everything be wish. Some of the things now we don't look where. Because he says, oh, not be heavy and that's it. Not be heavy. No, guy, you have to be vigilant. If you, you know, say the, the pass through pay body be key, be vigilant. So, go to the other news of time. <laughs> Nigeria, Ubuko, Africa, Ubuko, Panana, Wiking, what would you do, Blue? Emmanu, Rubble, Nako, I Ubuko, Panana, Wiking, what would you do, Blue? Emmanu, Bemosha, what you do, Blue? Panana, Wiking, what would you do, Blue?